Hey guys, it's day 11. I filmed absolutely nothing today. I'm sorry. I did laundry today and that took up quite a bit of my time because there was a lot of it. Changed the bed, slowly cleaning out my bedroom. So that was pretty much the length of my day today. Chuck is working the day shift today. So he's been gone since eight o'clock this morning. And I actually start, I do the, the night shift tonight. So I leave in, in like 15 minutes. Uh, to head to work. Don't get to see each other today. He'll probably film something when he gets home, I would assume. Um, but yeah, I don't, again, kind of a boring day for me. Got a Christmas card. My family sent a Christmas card for us. I changed the sheets. This is like my favorite duvet that we have. Got all these leaves and, I don't know, it's probably my favorite one. Again, I'm not really sure what to talk about. I didn't do any Christmas related stuff. I didn't get my Christmas cards done. I know I wanted to, but I didn't. Didn't do any Christmas crafts. I still haven't done those cookies. I should probably ice those. Maybe tonight, I don't know. Cause I work in the morning, so we'll see. But like I said, I have Thursday off, so I can get some more done then. I've been sitting here watching MTV all day. Catfish is interesting to me, if you've ever seen that. I never saw the movie. I never saw the documentary about it. I've been watching the, the show on it and I don't know. I could never just randomly start up a conversation with somebody online like that. I never got into chat rooms or anything like that. I never really did any of that. So it's weird for me to think that people, you know, fall in love online. I mean, I know people who have done it and everything. It's just, I don't know, it just seems so weird to me. I don't know that I, that I ever could. I don't know, I have to, I have to see people for who they are sort of thing and I don't think you can do that strictly online especially with some of these people like the one girl i was watching she's dating this guy well dating this guy online for 10 years and they never met once uh, i don't know like even after a little while like unless you lived across the world like i can't see why you couldn't at least meet up once i don't know i guess when you're in love you just kind of block out a lot of things i don't know it's it's weird to me i, I don't know and red light means it's going Okay, so I just got home, and now I'm left with the task of wondering what I'm going to make for dinner. I don't really feel like cooking, but I should probably look, because it's the right thing to do. Anyways, I was listening to the Nerdist podcast today. It was actually pretty cool. They had Judd Apatow, Apatow? Apatow on. It's the weirdest name ever. Uh, but yeah, he was on, and... There's really nothing I can make, huh? Well, okay, well, there are some things I can... Okay, well, yeah, I'll do it. So, opting for chicken. Yeah, he was on, and it was funny because he was... Basically, a lot of his movies have to deal with like, growing up and dealing with the fact that a lot of the things in your life are changing and all that kind of jazz. And he actually started to talk about how he'll listen to some classic rock. <laughs> and he'll, like something old like Zeppelin, and he'll be like amazed at it. But he's heard the song before, but his brain, he claimed that only, his brain only had so much space in it that he couldn't comprehend some of the stuff that was there previously. So it made me wonder, is that what's happening to me? Is it that my brain is already filled with music from the 80s, 90s, early 2000-ish's that I can't comprehend the awesome that is today's music? It's kind of scary to think of it that way, and I don't want to think about it that way. So no, I'm going to say no, it's not that. I can comprehend cool music. Shut up. It looks like Cheryl did some did the laundry today which is a thumbs up but this shirt is wet this one is wet do you guys ever see the skit with uh with eddie izzard and he's like pretending to be darth vader in the cantina and he's looking at the trays and he's like this one is wet this one is wet this one it's really funny okay and if i can find it on youtube i'll, I'll link to it down there i'm just gonna make a uh, kind of fast dinner for, for us to eat tonight. For the main reason that I have to work tomorrow, but earlier than I had anticipated. 
and then I have to go to work again on Thursday earlier than anticipated. One of the guys who works there um, had, let's just say that he lost a toenail, and that just freaks me out. I don't, I, I don't deal well with the whole losing of the toenail thing. That's really disgusting to me. When Shay Carl said that he was like running marathons and that he lost his toenail, that freaked me out. When Jeff Canada, uh, when he lost his toenail when he was running a marathon, that was disgusting. And now I've actually met somebody who has lost a toenail and it's disgusting. No. Never. Like seriously, how do you let it get to that point? I understand if you're a runner, like you don't know. Oh, but how do you not notice? That's so gross. Ew. 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 Yuck. I wanted to see if Cheryl had filmed anything today, and she did. And it was, it was cool. And I also, while watching, I noticed that like this part of my head just kept, like the hair just kept doing this, like constantly. Like I had patted down and it just, oh no, I made it worse. This, this is just bothering me. So I'm just gonna wear a hat instead. Much better. So it's just past, oh, that is not the right time at all. Oh. You have two broken clocks now. See, it, it says that it's 5.57 or so, and that second hand just ain't moving. It's ticking though. I guess we have to buy some sort of like electronic clock in here, because otherwise this keeps happening. This is like the second clock that we've destroyed here in the bathroom. I don't know why, I guess it's the humidity kind of thing, because there's no real fan. There's like a vent on the top of the ceiling there, but uh, it does nothing. It just kind of. I guess it's decorative. Cheryl's home! Love Jorno. Yay! So we can edit now? See, we're together. Yeah, for a couple hours till I go to bed. Yes! Yeah. Okay, I guess.